What is going on everyone, Leon checking in here, and if you are anything like me, you have more than a few cables from all your electronics you have collected over the years, and this can be pretty messy. So I'm going to show you a little hack on how to solve this issue. First step here is to organize your cables by size. So thicker cables we're going to want to put with other thicker cables. Some thinner cables here, those are actually Bluetooth headphones. I got some wired headphones there. So we're going to speed this up. I'm going to go through, organize all these. Okay, so I've got everything organized here into different piles. I did add another pile kind of, and that was short cables. Basically the short cables we're not gonna really mess around with them too much in this video because they're short, so they don't get tangled easily. They're easier to manage. I've got a thicker cable here, a VGA cable, believe it or not, outdated. I've got some charge sync cables, the longer ones, and then I've got some wired headphones. So we'll take the VGA cable to start here. And basically, you're just gonna wanna grab it in the middle and you're just gonna make a loop with it. And then when you make that loop there, just like that, you are going to fish it through here one side at a time and just kind of spin it a little bit and pull it through. And you kind of want to do the other side at the same time. That way this doesn't come undone. Okay, so when you get done, you're gonna end up with a ring like that. And as you can see, this is gonna be very hard to get tangled with other cables. So we're gonna go ahead and do that with the rest. So this is everything that we're going to have here and obviously we can get rid of some of this, we can recycle it or we can donate it and that's going to help our pile become a little bit smaller leaving us with a lot less as you can see here and what you do have here is nicely organized, it'll be easy to store, it'll be easy to use, easy to find. So we're going to go ahead and use this in a real world application. I'm going to plug this into my laptop and if you need to you can unravel the cable a little bit if it is too short just like this and then you'll grab your device and plug it in and as you can see that's just going to look a little bit neater. As you can see having the cable organized looks a lot better than leaving the cable unraveled just like this. So we are going to go ahead and try this in another location. I'm going to plug my cable into the USB block here. And again, if it's too short, you can just unravel the cable here just a little bit. You want to make it just long enough so that it will reach your device and it won't be too tight. And then you'll plug it in and then you can just leave it just like that. When your device gets done charging, all you're going to do is unplug it and then you're going to ravel it back together just to keep it organized. And then if you like, you can leave it in the wall outlet just like this. Or you can remove it and store it away. As you can see here, using a longer cable that's not really organized, it takes a little bit more time to get it into the USB block. And it's just going to be hanging down. Now you can store your organized cables many ways, but I have a nice little trick here using a bungee cable. And I'm just going to secure it to my shelf rack here. And then I'm going to feed all these cables onto it. And then we're just going to secure it nice and tight on the wire frame of the shelf and spread them out a little bit and they will be easily accessible. That's pretty much it for today. We've got our cables organized. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you like it and make sure you also comment below. Let me know your thoughts or maybe you have some additional tips for people. And also don't forget to subscribe. I'm going to put a subscribe button right here. So make sure you also hit that to support me so I can put out some more videos. And speaking of videos, I'm going to post two video links there of some content that I made in the past that might help solve some other problems you may have. So that is pretty much it. Until next time, I'll catch all you later.